Madam Speaker, I'm going to be very clinical here and simply read the motion and prove it's true. That given that after nine years the government has doubled housing costs, taxed food, punished work, unleashed crime, and is the most centralizing government in Canadian history, the House has lost confidence in the government and offers Canadians the option to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. Let's go through one, one by one. Did they double housing costs? Well, let's look at the prices. In 2015, the average rent for a one bedroom, $973. Today, $1,877. In 2015, the average cost of monthly rent for a two-bedroom, $1,172. Today, $2,337. In 2015, the average down payment needed for a new home, $22,000. Today, $47,000. And in 2015, the average mortgage payment on an average new home, $1,400. Today, $3,020. No debate. Double, 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 double trouble when it comes to housing. Next point. Are they taxing food? Well, they admit that they're taxing diesel, which is what powers combines, tractors, and other, on, uh, other equipment. They admit that they're taxing the natural gas that drives, that drives the grains in the silos. They admit that they are taxing the truckers that bring us our food. There is no debate, and they want to quadruple that tax to 61 cents a litre. There is no debate on that either. Are they punishing work? They've increased income tax on 80 80 percent of middle class people. Are they unleashing crime? Violent crime is up 50 percent. Gun crime is up 120 percent. Are they a centralist government? They've doubled their debt. They've doubled the amount of money for consultants. Madam Speaker, all of these points are proven, and that's why Canadians deserve the chance to elect a common sense Conservative government that will axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. So that hard work earns a powerful paycheck that buys affordable food and homes in safe neighbourhoods where the promise of Canada is restored in the freest country on earth, Canada. Let's bring it home.